Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on KB ID 1014749. We will discuss about configuring quotas in clustered data on tap. A quota is useful to limit or track the amount of disk space or the number of files used by a user or a group or in a queue tree. It's useful to warn users when their disk usage or file usage is high. I'm using data on tap 8.2 cluster mode. We will be working on vServer VS1 and the volume queue wall. To create a quota policy, run volume quota policy create hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen policy hyphen name test create default quota rule using volume quota policy rule create hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen policy hyphen name test hyphen type tree hyphen volume q wall hyphen target codes. Apply the policy on the vServer using vServer modify hyphen vServer vs1 hyphen quota hyphen policy test. To check run volume quota policy show. Here we see the policy test being applied on VS1. To initialize the quota on the volume, run volume quota on hyphen vserver VS1 hyphen volume q wall. To verify, run volume quota report. Quotas can be soft or hard. Soft quotas cause data on tap to send a notification when specified thresholds are exceeded. And hard quotas prevent a write operation from succeeding when the specified thresholds are exceeded. To impose a hard limit of 50 MB for each user in Q wall, run volume quota policy rule create hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen policy hyphen name test hyphen volume q wall hyphen type user hyphen target codes hyphen disk limit 50 MB hyphen q tree codes when you change an existing quota limit there is no need to reinitialize quotas on the volume to activate the change. You can use resize quotas to have the changes take effect. Run volume quota resize hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen volume q wall. To verify, run volume quota policy rule show hyphen instance. Here we see a disk limit being imposed on all users. You can also modify an existing rule. Here we can set a threshold for 45 megabytes on all users using volume quota policy rule modify hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen policy name test hyphen volume q wall hyphen type user hyphen target codes hyphen q tree codes hyphen threshold 45 MB to apply the changes run volume quota resize hyphen vserver vs1 hyphen volume q wall hyphen foreground foreground switch gives us a notification when the job is completed you can use quotas to create additional permissions for a user. To give a disk limit of 100 MB to PC user, 
run volume quota policy rule create hyphen v server vs1 hyphen policy name test hyphen volume q wall hyphen type user hyphen target pc user hyphen q tree codes hyphen disk limit 100 mb we'll use the resize command again volume quota resize hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume q wall to verify run volume quota report here we have a pc user who has a disk limit of 100 mb if you would like to delete this rule run volume quota policy rule delete hyphen v server vs1 hyphen policy name test hyphen volume q wall hyphen type tree hyphen target codes we run the resize command for the changes to take effect and then volume coda report no longer shows the rule created for the tree before deleting a policy you need to turn off the volume quota using volume quota of hyphen v server vs1 hyphen volume q wall and also modify the v server to have a default quota policy assigned using v server modify hyphen v server vs1 hyphen quota policy default now that the test policy is no longer in use we can go ahead and delete the policy run volume quota policy delete hyphen v server vs1 hyphen policy name test you would get a confirmation message press y again to confirm the deletion run volume quota policy show and the test policy is no longer in the system for more information, refer KBID 1014749. Thank you.